let's start over here with what I would call this is a maul, all right, or a splitter's axe. I'm sorry, it is not a maul. This is a splitter's axe. Uh, and you can tell right here that it has two wedges on each side. It does have a hammer. And the idea behind this is to swing it and to break logs. Now, uh, if you have ever tried to break logs with axes, hopefully you're young, hopefully your back is still in good shape uh, because it's a very difficult job to do. Uh, I myself has used this many a times and it's not always easy, but sometimes it's the only tool you have, especially if you're stuck in the woods somewhere. So I'm gonna talk about the axes as they pertain to the job specific. I think that's more important. So once you get the tree down and you buck it up, you're probably gonna need one of these. Again, this is a splitting ax, super splitting ax. I forget who makes this, but I think you can get these. Yeah, here you go. Ames, you can get these in Home Depot. Uh, or any of your super stores. It's a very large handle. I think it's a 36 inch handle. Okay. Uh, this is a typical felling ax. This is also what I carry in the woods. Notice it has a very slick sheen uh, type look to it. Okay. It's very different in diameter, but the idea behind this is just to fell trees. All right. Same thing, 36 inch handle. This again is like a Home Depot special. There's not really a a name brand on there this was a little rusty so i tried to clean it up a little bit uh, pretty sharp and again with these axes you're not getting um, some of them are forged i want to say the forged ones are going to be more expensive like the husvanas and the gainsford brooks uh, a lot of these are also cast cast happens to be completely cheaper um, and then what they do is they harden the edge sometimes they do sometimes they don't do a good job so understand that if you're buying cheap axe, it's probably not forged, it was probably cast. Again, to each his own, it will still cut wood if you like. Again, this is a felling axe, 36 inches, uh, not too expensive, Home Depot special. Now, for a forged axe, this is one of my faves. This is Gaines, Gaines Ford's Brooks. All right, very big head on there. All right, let's see if I could, it's not even used yet. I didn't even use this one. It's already stamped. Nice big beard right there. Very, very sharp. This has the wood handle with the, uh, the pin in it. And as you can see, very, very nice. This one I haven't used yet. I will be using this shortly. Made in Schwieden. Hickory handle. Really like this one. As far as weight goes, this seems to be a little bit more well balanced. But again, you're talking about a $300 axe. Again, do you really want to spend 300 bucks? Completely up to you. And it does come with a nice uh, leather sheath. And of course, over here, it actually stamps the guy's initials who makes them. So that's a really nice axe. Big fan of that. If you want to go a little cheaper, this is a double bit axe. This is by Condor. Um, this is actually very well balanced. I've got to be careful. I don't want to cut myself. Uh, the idea behind this axe, uh, I didn't have a double bit axe. This is made by Condor. And I think this is about, let's see, yeah, it's, a, it's about, it's a little longer. It's probably about 18 or 20, 20 inch handle. Really easy to swing. It has this sweeping type of handle. This is just so you can hang it on a tree. Guys don't realize that. The reason you put holes inside here is so you can put a lanyard or a thong and you can hang it on a tree and not drop it in the forest, all right? That's the only reason that's there. Stamped in Condor, two different bits, very, very sharp. Uh, the idea behind this is if one gets dull, you don't have to worry about sharpening it. You just flip it over and you have another sharp edge. Also, guys put different styles on here. So the edge geometry might be a little bit different. One is for chopping the tree down and then the other one would be for splitting it, okay? Sometimes you can see it in the picture. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to see. I'm getting the whole fisheye thing. But again, very good axe. If you're interested in these axes, I'll put the link down below. Let's see, I'll try to put this away without cutting myself, so that'll be cool. All right, good. That got away. All right, Husqvarna. Husqvarna. This is another large axe. Uh, this has been used many times in the woods, as you can see, Husqvarna is also hand forged and is also made in Sweden, all right? So if you can't afford the Gainsford Brooks axe, 
then uh, Husqvarna is a little bit cheaper, but again, it's a really, really good ax. I like the balance. All right, again, really nice handle, has the hammer in the back or the striking portion. You can see I use this quite a bit. Uh, I use this on a camping trip and it worked out very well. I will say it's gonna be a little bit heavy or large if you're going to use it inside the woods. It does come with a little bit of a frog. It's kind of like a, a cheapy one, but it fits, it's leather and you won't cut yourself, so that's cool. All right, let's talk about, I have another one in here, another Hasvana. All right, this is the probably the most prevalent or the most sought after ax. This is the forest ax or boys ax uh, from by Gamefoods Brooks. It is very small. The handle is only about 24 inches. Uh, really lightweight, very sharp, razor, razor sharp, hickory handle. This is the kind of ax that I like to carry in the woods. Uh, whether I'm hunting or hiking, whatever the case is, I need to camp. Again, it gets stamped with the initials of the maker and it is made by Sweden. All right, really nice handle. And you could you one hand this or you could two hand this. Uh, again, really really high quality and very expensive and it also comes with a sheath which is nice let's talk about hatchets 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 all right so this is another one this is Gainsfoot brooks axe made by ks again this is a carpenter's axe okay the idea behind a carpenter's axe is somebody that is going to use this to make cabins or different types of buildings, all right? That's what this is for. It's not specifically made for uh, wood processing. I mean, not to make fires and campfires and stuff like that. It's designed to be a carpenter's ax, sort of like this, okay? Now, if you see this, you know this is very old. This is a construction type ax. It won't break, it's fiberglass, very old school. But again, this is more of a traditional. It does the same exact purpose. You're trying to build or make some type of uh, building or structure. And you can see that it has a very, very flat curve to it. Again, it's for chipping away uh, uh, pieces of wood to make some type of structure. That's why it's built like that. And they have a whole bunch. If you ever go to the uh, website, check it out. They have a whole bunch of stuff specifically made for building, okay? This is another Condor hatchet, all right? Again, you can see the difference here, okay? You can see that the beard is very round as opposed to square. So this is made for the campsite. This is designed specifically for small, pro uh, small wood. Uh, you could one hand it, you can two hand it. It's not very expensive, not very difficult to wield. There is a whole technique into these things, but again, very small. I like this one, uh, very easy to pack. And Condor does always very good with the leather. That's what I like about Condor. So they do very good with leather. Some other options. All right, so like I said, carpenter's axes. All right, you're looking at two. This one is a Home Depot special. Again, you can take this, and I've seen this, where this is designed, again, for building houses or shingles or anything like that you have an axe on the end of course this needs to be reground or fixed but it's basically a hammer with a sharpened end on it and it has a very long handle so it gives you a lot of play uh, to build whatever you're trying to build i just think this says vaughn it's a 28 ounce 28 ounce hammer uh, or carpenter's axe and again this is an old one this is one of my grandfather's you can see very old style type axe made in the USA. They probably don't even make this brand anymore. But again, Carpenter's Axe. Uh, so many other earlier axes. All right, this is a fireman's axe, you can see, or a fireman's hatchet. Typically, fireman's hatchet is gonna have this type of handle. You can see it's broke on the back. Um, and uh, it's red in color. Has a little bit of an edge to it, but again, very old school. Uh, this was from an estate sale, as you can see, it's kind of beat up. Probably the handle probably needs to be replaced, but I kind of like the old style, so I'll probably just keep it like that. Really cool, and then here's another one. This was the all steel one. I don't even know who makes this, but again, it is another carpenter's ax, not, or hatchet, I should say, and you could tell by this little notch right here. This notch is basically made to pull nails. So you would use that to pull nails, much like 
these other carpenter axes that have this little piece right here, again, to pull nails. And as you can see right here on this one as well, it's to pull nails, all right? So really cool carpenter axes. Um, let's talk a little bit more about combat axes. Uh, so combat axe is gonna be a little bit different. This happens to be by Ontario or hatchet, I should say. Really nice hatchet. This typically has a spike on the end and a cutting surface. What I like about this is it has a handle on it where um, it's just a one-handed, all right? It's small, it's convenient. I don't know what the holes are for other than design. Maybe if you wanted to latch something to it or make it longer. It does have a striking pommel on the back. But what I like about these things is they're very packable. So if you had a backpack or something like that, it's very easy to throw it in there. So Ontario makes really good products. CRKT, another combat ax. All right, this is the Kanji T-Hawk. They make them in different colors. This is not a cheap ax. It has a pass-through and a pass-through. Really nice design. Uh, there's two different versions of this. One has the spike, which this one does, and one has like a, a flat end. Uh, I, this is basically uh, a combat ax. And the reason is, is because you have um, sharpened edge, sharpened edge, sharpened edge, sharpened edge, and this is not sharpened edge, okay? so. You could do some work with it, but it is not a wood processing axe. This is typically just to go to combat with, which I don't understand why they sold it in orange, but okay. Uh, that can be easily rendered or fixed by painting it, but it's there. The sheath is very good, I will say. Uh, different ways to mount it, that kind of thing. So, Kenchi, really cool axe. And I'm not gonna forget my SOG axes. All right, these are typically Combat axes. All right, these are my two SOGs. Fast Hawks. This is a double bit, which they don't make anymore, but it's really cool. I wish they would bring that back. If you threw this, it is very well balanced, as well as this one. Again, a uh, sharpened bit there and a spike on the back. These work very well in combat environments, urban environments. If you need to break something, like on the back edge, you can break and rake, or you can smash different things with it, car windows, doors, that kind of thing. Very, very lightweight. The sheath is to be a little bit somewhat desired. It is not a fast sheath, but you can, I think, yep, this, the way this is supposed to work. No, is it there? Yep, well, so there's a hole in here, or you can put a hole in here, and then you can slip it in the other way. Um, I haven't seen that been too successful, but, you could do it on this one, that's for sure. So you see it's open a little bit. So if you wanted to, instead of putting it on this way, you could put it through here and then put this on your belt. All right, and then put this on your belt. And then what that does is it makes it a little bit faster to deploy. Not awesome, not awesome. Looks a little goofy, but it'll be a little bit faster to deploy. You just open this up and then pull your ax out. All right, just gotta watch your hands and make sure you don't hurt yourself. Uh, again, they don't make this anymore. Uh, I wish they did. Probably get some on eBay. Uh, tomahawks, huge fan of tomahawks. I like tomahawks probably the best. The only issue I have with tomahawks, honestly, is the handle size, which makes it so convenient to carry a tomahawk, is the fact that if your tomahawk breaks, or this handle breaks, uh, change this handle if you need to. You just hit it on the table like that or any hard surface and then you could pack this up, good to go, like that, no big deal. And then if you need to, you reset it, give it a couple taps on the concrete and you're good to go, all right? Super razor sharp. This one I actually got in Cabela's, Cabela's. So that's pretty cool. It might've been an outside vendor that made it and sold it to Cabela's, but really cool tomahawk so i'm a big fan of that uh this is the cold steel one i don't like that they put a little uh screw in there i mean it's convenient so it doesn't wobble but uh it's not really what a tomahawk's for and this one is made in taiwan it is not really sharp at all but this is the i think the it's not the pipe hawk it's the trail hawk uh really long handle which is typical and then this is the CRKT version. Uh, it's got a big hammer on it, it's got a big head. This is very, very weighty. 
I'm gonna say that it's it's a little bit heavier than I would like for a tomahawk. Tomahawks are supposed to be fast. This is more of a woods tool. It does have a sharpened edge right there, which is really not that necessary. And the fact that they use a lot of metal in here makes it very, very heavy. And the handle is very, very skinny at the end. So it's it's tapered almost too much to where it's, it's very, very thin. So you gotta be careful with that. Uh, also, Cold Steel product is the War Hammer. Okay, I just put that in there for self-defense. I thought that was pretty cool. If you look at this thing, it's kind of ridiculous, but I liked it. Uh, it could be useful, I would say, in uh, any type of urban environment where it is the end of the world situation if you wanted to take your War Hammer out because you ran out of bullets. Uh, I think it would be devastating. Uh, I don't know about uh, building any type of um, structures with it and uh, because it just is it's this this is not gonna work for nails it's just basically a, a war club a war hammer spike hammer smash things kill that's basically what it's for and then the last one I want to go over is some type of rescue hawk or rescue tool uh, you guys have seen this this is my I don't want to say EDC but it is in my bug out bag it is a spec plus spax this is axe was basically designed for air crew and aircraft um, to get uh, for aircraft to either punch through uh, the fuselage or to cut your way out. What's cool about this is that it does have a very nice curve, so that works really good for prying. It has a chiseled edge, all right, to chip through things. This edge is not going to be that great for wood processing, although you could use it. It also has a fire hydrant opener, so this will fit on a fire hydrant, and this is also a gas line opener. Okay, so that, that kind of works in an urban environment, and again, it's small, it's handy, it works pretty well. So, again, don't overlook this tool. Uh, if you are going to buy a woods axe, buy the best one that you can afford, in my opinion. Uh, if you don't want to go for a Gainsford, uh, Brooks, you can look at Hasvana. Hasvana is really good. Uh, oh, and this is the one I haven't covered yet. I'm sorry, I didn't even take it out of the packaging. This is the Ruger Black Powder. It is a hollow handle hatchet. Uh, it's really crappy. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that now. Uh, the metal doesn't look to be that bad. The problem I have with this is that it's a hollow handle, which means there's not a lot of support. It makes it light but there's no support in here to probably wind up breaking or you know and it just has this little rubber piece on here and it's not sharp at all i mean this is this is not even close to sharp it's just not i mean it's it's basically a hammer with a little bit of a, a wedge on it if you can see right there and the reason i have this is because i'm going to fix this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this out put a wooden handle and then I'm going to sharpen this up and actually make it a useful hatchet. I like it because it's small uh, and lightweight, so that might work um, for a backpack. If you didn't want to carry, uh, let's say, um, you know, a, a large saw or something like that. It's very, very small. And I do have other hatchets and stuff like that for my camping gear. I usually carry something that's really small and lightweight. And uh, last but not least, this is my hunting axe, or hatchet I should say. Really small hatchet, all right? This is a tiny hatchet, it's all steel. It's made by East Wing. It has a very, very stout handle, very large and comfortable stout handle. Uh, I think this is leather wrapped, leather wrapped and finished. Warranty USA. Um, what I use this for is basically game animals. Uh, it's very easy to take this axe. I put an edge on it because it had a really crappy edge. It's very easy to take this and break the uh, the sternum open or the um, what do you call it the uh, the hip uh, the hip bones. So if you know about hunting, you understand that sometimes you have to break things to get into them. And uh, this works out really well. It's a very lightweight, very small type of axe. Uh, you could still use it for wood processing if you needed to, but it's super lightweight. And that's what I liked about it is the handle feels really good in my hand. As I get older, I have a little bit more arthritis problems. So 
I'm making sure that you know I can hold on to this and then break into that uh, those hip bones and, and um, sternum and get through there if I need to so all right guys that's about it so uh, thank you very much thanks for watching hope I didn't bore you to death but uh, please like subscribe share add some comments down below if there's some axes that you think would be beneficial put it down below let me know I'm gonna leave a link to my axe page on Amazon if you guys are interested go up there check it out uh, and try to become a patreon member if you can thank you and as always guys please stay safe